Hello everyone! Good morning, good morning! Welcome to our stay-at-home online Sunday school again. This is our third unit for today and we're on session 10. We're talking about the first Christian communities uh, and we're going to talk about Peter and John. Our lead teacher for today is Miss Mildred Hayek. And craft leader will be Miss Vicky Persinger, and she's excited on her projects. And we have asked Clara May to do an opening and closing prayer for our Sunday school today. And Claire Boger is sharing her favorite scripture Bible verse to everyone. And also, I am inserting a video of our Praise Kids Choir. To give them a shout out for today because this is the end of our season and they did an amazing job in sharing their talents and music in the church. And stay tuned for more uh, for our Sunday school today and enjoy our Sunday school time. Bye! Oh God, thank you that you promised us that when two or more of us are together in your name, you are with us. Luke 361. Do to others as you would have them do to you. The VIP. This is Layla from Deep Blue News, and we're here in Deep Blue Shores, where a group of children from the church are helping the recent flood victims by putting together flood buckets. Let's talk to some of them. Hi there, Caleb. What are you doing exactly? We're putting supplies in the bucket so we can send them to people affected by the flood. Am I on TV? Hey, everybody! Kat, how are you helping today? I'm getting all the bugs spray together for each bucket so we can make sure the families can keep yucky mosquitoes away. I'm in charge of rope. I'm getting the scouring pads together. Edgar, what makes you excited to participate in this project? Oh, that's easy. We're doing this because we're called to follow the example of Jesus who always helped people. Peter and John were making their way to the temple so they could pray. As they headed for the temple, there was a man who had never walked, being carried to the gates. The man was brought there every day so that he could ask for money. Peter and John noticed the man and they told him that they didn't have any money to give him, but instead they healed him in the name of Jesus. The man was healed and he got up and started jumping up and down praising God. The man followed Peter and John into the temple to worship. Everyone who saw the man was amazed. They knew that this man had never walked before. It was a miracle. The people ran up to Peter and John, wondering how this had happened. Peter asked, why are you surprised by this? Don't you know that God sent us Jesus? Peter told them that the man was healed in Jesus' name. Then he told them to change their hearts and lives. The people in charge at the temple were upset that Peter and John were preaching about Jesus. But Peter and John weren't ever going to stop telling everyone about God's love. So, 
The people in charge threw them in jail. The leaders realized they couldn't keep Peter and John in jail, so they let them go. All right, everyone, this is the last flood bucket. I feel sad for the people that need them, but I'm glad we are able to do something to help. Now what? Now, these flood buckets will be loaded on a truck and sent out to the people in need. It is really going to help them. I hope they know how much we care. I know they will, Caleb. This is a very special thing you are doing. We want to be like Jesus and do what he wants us to do. Kids, are you ready to help me take these buckets? Hi there, so I have a question um, that is related to our situation right now. First one, what made you laugh this week? Number two, how did you help someone this week? Number three, what are you grateful for? Number four, was there a difficult part of your week and what made it you better? Number five, where did you see God this week? So our Bible lesson for today can be found in the books of Acts, chapter 4, verse 1 to 22. And our Bible verse is in the same books of Acts, chapter 4, verse 20. It says, As for us, we can stop speaking about what we have seen and heard. Again, as for us, we can stop speaking about what we have seen and heard. So I'm going to uh, read our Bible story for today, but it's all summarized, so it's, um, you can understand it easily. So uh, the story is about Peter and John who helped Clifford Van to walk. And everyone was so excited to see what happened. Peter talked to the crowd and many of them believed in Jesus because of what had happened. Some other people in the town were disturbed by what Peter and John were doing. They didn't believe in Jesus and wanted Peter and John to stop. They had the guards grab Peter and John. Because it was night, they threw them in the jail until morning. The next day, many important city people met. They had Peter and John brought to them, and they questioned them. They asked them, How did you heal the man? God spoke through Peter and told the man it was Jesus who healed the man. Peter reminded them that they had killed Jesus on the cross. He also made sure they knew that Jesus came back to life. Peter also told the, told the man, the only way to heaven was believing by Jesus. When the man saw Peter's courage and realized what he and John were not educated, they knew that Jesus must have changed their lives. The men talked together and tried to decide what to do with Peter and John. They knew the man was well and that everyone had heard about the miracle. So they warned them never to talk about Jesus again. Do you know what Peter did? Peter, Peter told, the men, told them they could only do what God wanted, and he wanted them to others about Jesus. Peter and John ran back to their friends and shared the good news of their release. Everyone thanked God. They asked God to give them courage to tell more and more people about Jesus. Guess what God did? He answered their request. Many people told others about Jesus, and many, many people believed in him. Peter and John stood up for what they believed. They were not afraid of what the man might do. They knew that their God would take care of them. That's exactly what happened. God did a great thing. So Jesus wants us to share um, about others. If we are afraid or scared, we must do what Peter and John did. They pray and ask God for courage. God will help us and take care of us. 
happened. So, um, Peter and John were in a top position. They were spreading the message of Jesus, which the community leaders disliked. But they stood firm in their faith and continued to preach about Jesus. As our Bible verse says, As for us, we can stop speaking about what we have seen and heard. Okay, so my question, what message would you want to share about Jesus? If you were texting, tweeting, posting on social media, what would you want to say about your faith? Now we're going to have a little bit of something to do. Place your index and middle finger on your wrist. Press lightly until you feel your pulse. So each pulse represents a heartbeat. Can you feel it? And then jump 15 times. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The man in the Bible story leaped and praised God. Leaping is a good heart exercise and remind us for the Bible story. Jesus is always in your heart. So our Bible <clears throat> verses or Bible stories on this month is about spreading the message of Jesus. So who remembers our Bible verse for today? Okay, together, let's shout our love for Jesus. Whisper, I love Jesus. Can you whisper that? Turn to your mom and dad or your neighbor and say, I love Jesus. Then shout, I love Jesus. And then say, Amen. So as you can see, I already light our candle to symbolize the special time together and we will pray. Let's pray. Dear God, help us to always spread the message of Jesus. Amen. Hi boys and girls, Miss Vicki. This is the project you're going to do today for the Bible story and, and um, the story just reminds us that Jesus loves us. And so what you're going to do is you're going to cut, I've already taken some hearts and cut them out of paper. You can cut um, as many hearts, as big ones, little ones, whatever size you want to make them. I made mine fairly small and then I just taped them all together or glued them with my glue stick. I have a glue stick. I have a, some yarn, some scissors, and some scotch tape. And so you'll glue them all together and then just write Jesus loves me on it and then add the string to the back. So I hope you enjoy making your hearts with Jesus loves me. Bye. Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to make some flowers out of paint. And this is a really fun activity because May, May flowers are coming real soon. You may be already seeing some flowers blooming outside. I just taken different colored paint that I have. I have you can have whatever kind of paint you have. I use this acrylic paint a lot for different things. Um, and I just put some of my paint right here on my little paper plate. That way when I'm done I can just throw my paper plate away and not worry. And then you're going to take a fork, a plastic fork, take a plastic fork and a plastic knife. And so what you're going to do is you're going to dip your fork right into the paint and you're going to add your paint right on your paper. So it makes it look like a, 
a flower. Now I'm just dipping my paints and my same fork in different colors. And it just makes makes it a fun way, something different to paint with than a paintbrush all the time. Then you want to make the stems, take the ending part of your knife, plastic knife, and dip it in there and just draw your the stems, the leaves. Then you can do some things to make it look like there's grass growing there. Then I'm going to write the word up here. It's going to say, Happy Spring. And there you go for a painting project. Hope you have fun. Bye. Thank you, you Lord, that you are with us during this time that the, during this time we cannot be together face to face. Guide us as we meet on video and through our daily lives to love and serve you always. Amen. Thank you for staying with us. See you again next Sunday. Have a nice weekend. Bye.